Hey everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today I have got a $25 budget prepper pantry haul from the Dollar Tree. So I had to go out of town for an appointment and I stopped by a different Dollar Tree to do this haul. I think it is important when you go to other places and you see Dollar Trees stop by, a lot of them have different stock. They have a lot of similar things and the same things, but they always seem to have something a little bit different that your local store may not have. So today I did a $25 budget haul and we are going to dig in and see what we got so the first thing i found were these big jugs let's say one gallon jugs of water our store does not seem to have the one gallon jugs they've got the six packs and the liters and different sizes but i haven't seen the gallon jugs in a while so i wanted to grab a couple of those because water is one of the most important things in your pantry i think you should stock as much as possible in there because you're never going to have enough water especially if it is a long-term situation where you do not have access to water you're going to want to make sure you have a, quite a bit and especially living in the country when your electricity goes down your water pump is not going to work so you in the city you will probably still have city water but um, for a while but if it's long term it's going to go down eventually um, so water definitely stock up as much as you can and we try to rotate our water so it, these jugs are really thin so these will get rotated through but they it's important to have it as much as you can because you never know when that water situation is going to strike Okay, so the next thing that we found was these pineapple tidbits. These are in our store sometimes, but not all the time. Recently, they haven't been having them in. They have much smaller cans of pineapple and a different brand. And this one I know that my family likes, and it is from Brazil, I believe, um, Thailand. Uh, these are really delicious. We use them in all sorts of recipes. I love having plenty of pineapple in the pantry. They make lots of great items. And then I did grab um, a container of ground nutmeg, something that I can't grow. Obviously here in Maine, you can't grow these kinds of spices. So I try to grab these when I see them. Nutmeg is usually quite expensive in the stores and I have I haven't even seen it in so long at our local Dollar Tree. So I grabbed a nutmeg and I only found one of them. I would have gotten a couple, definitely. And the next thing was minced garlic. This really cuts down on your prep time. It's easy. Throw it in the fridge after you open it. And it's it just it really makes everything easy, especially when time is a problem. So we like to keep plenty of that. Onions, garlic, you know, those are the holy things for cooking in our house anyway we just love that so lots of onion and garlic and then I grabbed a couple of cans of Rotel because that makes cooking easy as well anything that we can buy that helps us with our cooking we do a lot of when we can we can uh, individual ingredients but we also can ready to eat meals so those are wonderful and anything that helps us for when we have to pull from the pantry we want to make it as easy as possible i don't like to complicate anything if i don't have to simple and easy oh and of course they had matches so you know i got matches always good to have on hand i think they are wonderful i love lighters they're super easy but you don't want to rely on just one source. You want to make sure you have multiple ways to light a fire. So we keep lighters on hand. We keep matches. We have ferro rod and striker. I think multiple different ways because the lighter is going to run out. You're going to run out of matches eventually in a long-term scenario. Um, ferro rod and striker, definitely more difficult, but I think they're good to have. <clears throat> 
And then we got one box of Hungry Jack. This lone box was on the shelf. I didn't see any others in the store. So I grabbed one of these to make sure that we had them in the pantry. I love those for different recipes, especially breakfast casseroles, and things like that. Let's see, so we got two bags this week because they were a little bit heavy. And then they had some rotini in, which my store doesn't normally carry the rotini. And we like this Columbia brand because it is 20 ounces for $1.25. You can't beat the price. Pasta, always a good belly filler. You can add it to everything, really. <laughs> tons and tons of stuff. Let's see. And then I grabbed a Reynolds wrap. Um, aluminum foil, you want to make sure you have plenty of aluminum foil for all sorts of different things uh, and not just for cooking. You can do tons of stuff with this. You can make a super easy um, solar oven with aluminum foil and a cardboard box. So there are lots of uses for aluminum foil. Let's see. <clears throat> the next thing is I grabbed two packs of these um, two by four Curad bandages. These are the plastic ones and I do prefer the um, fabric bandages, but the two by four size has something that I've been trying to get more of in the house because we use them for all sorts of things. And, um, and I am struggling locally to find them. I did order a big bunch of them online because, you know, the only way I can get them and but the plastic ones will work and I just prefer the fabric ones and the Dollar Tree usually has them. and then this Dollar Tree I haven't seen these in a while and I was so happy to grab them were kidney beans my family loves kidney beans we use these for chili for baked beans for all kinds of stuff this is probably our favorite bean in our house so I grabbed two packages of kidney beans, and these are only 12 ounce sizes, but for $1.25, it's still compares, it compares to like Walmart and a couple other stores. They, their prices are a little higher on the 16 ounce bags, but price per ounce, it's not bad. And when I see kidney beans, I usually try to grab them because I don't see lots of them in our stores lately. That's one of the things that... There isn't a lot of, lots of pinto beans, um, an okay amount of black beans usually, and, um, but, uh, but not really kidney beans. I've been seeing a lot more of the great northern beans um, in our local stores, but just not those kidneys. And then, of course, a bag of lentils because they cook up quick easy and you know in an emergency you can cook these in 15 minutes and just pour spaghetti sauce on them they're actually really good that way um quick and simple pour it right on mix it up you've got a nice hot meal so that is always good and last but not least i got um a package of paper plates we do not use these all the time but i think they're important to have because when the grid is down or water is limited, you don't want to have to wash dishes. You want to make things as simple as possible. And I can burn these afterwards. They don't have anything crazy on them. Just a quick wax coating. They're the cheap plates, but they, um, they help me to conserve water so I don't have to use so much in an emergency situation. When the grid goes down, I don't want to have to be, you know, lugging water and boiling water on the stove and dragging it into the kitchen and washing the dishes. And it really makes it so much more of a chore when the grid is down. So paper plates, plastic spoons and forks, things like that. I didn't get any today because I had a $25 budget, but I think those things are really important to have in your emergency stash, even if you're not using them all the time. And that's it for my haul. If you have been to any new stores, uh, new Dollar Tree stores that you don't normally go to and found something different, put it in the comments down below. I think it is so great when we're able to check out other stores than the one we're used to going to on a regular basis. And because I really, every time I go to one of those stores, it, I find something that my store is, has not been carrying or you know, doesn't, I've never seen in there. So I think that's really great. And keep your pantries full, full, 
full. We want to make sure we have as much as possible in our pantries. And the Dollar Tree does have some great items that you can get for a reasonable price to get more into your pantry. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.